is Juliana, a nutrition educator with the Food Trust. Thank you for watching my lesson today. Before we start, hmm, I'm getting a little hungry. Let me pour myself some cereal. Mmm, so yummy. Hmm. Have you ever tried reading the nutrition fact label? It can look confusing and scary, right? Well, Today, we are going to learn how to read the Nutrition Fact label so we can make healthier choices for ourselves and for our family. You will find the Nutrition Fact label on every packaged food that you buy. It contains important information about the foods you are buying, such as the amount of calories, protein, fat, carbohydrates, and other nutrients like vitamins and calcium. You will see the amount of these nutrients written in G for grams, or mg for milligrams people who are experts in nutrition have figured out about how much of each key nutrient people should eat every day this is called the daily value of each nutrient you find the daily value right here in this percentage so when you look at a label and see percent daily value this show how much of that daily need of each nutrient you can get by eating this food. It is important to know that this number is based on grown-ups. So it's not the same for everyone, but it is a good helper. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the nutrition fact label tells us all the nutrients found in that particular food. Some of those nutrients are good for us and we want to get enough of them. But some of them are not so good for our body and we want to make sure we're limiting these nutrients. So let's take a closer look at these nutrients and let's see which ones we want to get enough of and which ones we want to limit. Okay, so let's start with those nutrients that we want to limit, okay? Um, I see here fat, so I'm going to circle in red, all the things that we really want to limit. We really want to watch out when we're looking for the foods that we want to buy, okay? So the amount of fat, right, that's definitely going to be a red one. And that goes for all the type of fat, saturated fat, and trans fat. We really want to make sure we get these numbers super, super low. Okay. Cholesterol, also another thing that we want to watch out. It's going to be in red. And the amount of sodium, too. All of the things definitely not good for our heart. So we always want to make sure we're looking at these numbers. I mean, all right. Now let's take, oh, and then now sugar, too. Sugar, of course. We don't want a lot of sugar, right? Now let's take a look at the things that we want to look for. We want to get enough of these things, okay? When we look at nutrition fact label, we always should look at the amount of fiber. We know it's good for us, it's good for our heart, it's good for our digestive system, okay? The amount of protein that helps build our muscle, and all those nutrients here below. Vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, all the other good stuff okay all right okay so now that we know what nutrients we want to look for in our food and what kind of nutrients we want to limit in our food the next question is how do I know if that nutrient is high or low okay so one good way to remember this trick is the 5% and 20% rule okay very simple so since five is a low number, all the things in red, all the things that we want to limit in a percentage daily value, we want to see that number 5% or less. That will tell me that this number, that nutrient is low. And remember, the ones and nutrients in red, we always want to see low numbers in them, okay? And 20%, since it's a high number, we want to make sure all the good stuff, all the green things that we... A circle we want to see 20% or more which will tell us that that nutrient is a great source okay so where should we start when we're looking at the nutrition fact label what's the first information we should look for we should start at the top where it says serving size usually serving size may say something like one cup five crackers five ounces of juice okay this will tell us exactly how many of the nutrients are in one serving. But the thing is, we also have to look at the serving per container. 
because the serving per container is going to tell us exactly how many servings are in the exact container. So for example, let's take a look at this sample of a macaroni and cheese. The serving size is one cup. So in one, if I eat just the serving size of one cup, I will be eating 250 calories, 12 grams of fat, zero grams of dietary fiber, and so forth. However, it says the serving per container is two. So this is why this serving per container is very important because it will tell us if we eat the entire package, how much of those nutrients I'll be eating instead. So for example, if for calories, instead of eating just 250 calories, I will have to multiply it by two because that's the amount of serving per container. So in reality, instead of eating 250 calories, I'll be eating 500 calories. And for fat, for example, it's 12 grams per one serving, but since there's two servings in here, instead of 12 grams, I'll be eating 24 grams of fat. All I have to do is just multiply this number by the serving per container, okay? So now that we learned how, where to start, let's go back to the 5% and 20% rule, okay? Over here in yellow, we want to limit those nutrients, right? So we want to make sure we see the number 5% or low. So take a look for the number of total fat. That's 18% of fat. So that number is closer to 20, right? Which tells me that this food is very high in fat. So I want to limit, okay? Let's go, uh, same here for saturated fat, cholesterol, 10%. Remember, we want to make sure that number says 5% or less, okay, for the things in yellow here. Sodium, as you can see, is 20%. That's a high number, right? That's in the 20% or more. So we want to make sure that we know now that this food in here, this mac and cheese, has a lot of sodium. And remember, if I eat the entire package, instead of 20%, I will be eating 40% of the daily value for sodium, right? So that's a very high number. And then the blue shaded area here indicates the good stuff, right? Those are the number we want to see 20% or high. Take a look at this fiber. There's 0%, which tells me that this food has no fiber. And let's see for vitamin A, 4%. So hmm, it's 5%. It's more like uh, under 5%. So it tells me there's a very low number for vitamin A. So it's for vitamin C, but take a look at calcium, 20%. So that's one of the things we want to see of 20% or more. So this food tells me that it has, it is a good source of calcium. But what do you guys think? If we take a look at all of these things in here in yellow that we want to limit, we see a lot of high numbers, right? So we want to make sure that we are looking at these numbers to make a better, healthier choice for us. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the lesson where I pour myself a nice, generous amount of cereal into my bowl. Now, let's see what we've learned. And this Nutrition Fact label says one serving is one cup. Now, do you think I pour myself here one cup or do you think it's a little bit more? Let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at the cereal bowl that I poured myself earlier, okay? It's important for us to really read the Nutrition Fact label to make sure we're getting the nutrients that we need for our body, okay? And also that we don't overeat, okay? So here is the portion that I would probably pour myself for breakfast, okay? But the Nutrition Fact label here, it says the serving size is one cup. And if I pour myself one cup, it will be a hundred calories, okay? But do you think here there's one cup or more? Let's take a look. I have here a cup. Let me put over here. So this is one serving. This is a hundred calories. In my original bowl, clearly I have way more than one serving. So I would probably be eating two to 300 calories in here instead, okay? So that's why it's important for us to know the serving size and the serving per container so we know exactly how many calories we're eating and how much of each nutrient.
Okay, so what happens to the vitamin C in a potato when it's processed into other product? As we can see, the baked potato is in its natural form. You know, just like a regular potato that you just put in the oven and you bake it. And we see it has no fat in a real potato, in a regular potato, and it has high number, 30% of vitamin C. However, when you start processing the potato or adding things, frying them, then we saw, for example, for the French fries, when we fry it, we added now eight grams, so we added fat to that French fries, and we lost a lot of the vitamin C. The same thing for the fried potato crisps, right? To make chips, for example, we add a lot more fat, so it gave us 11 grams of fat, and we pretty much lost almost everything from the vitamin C. Okay, so which of the potatoes product do you think is the most nutritious? Explain how you find out your answer. Now let's practice reading a label from the popular iced tea beverage. We normally think that tea is no problem to us, right? Because it's just tea and water. But let's see what the label says. We want to make sure we start here at the top where it says serving size. The serving size is eight ounce fluid. If I didn't read the serving per container, I would think if I drink this container, I would only consume 70 calories. Not bad, right? No. One key information that we forgot to read is a serving per container right here. It says three servings, right? Which means there are three servings in this bottle. So I have to multiply all everything in here by three. So in reality, instead of just drinking 70 calories that I thought I was drinking, I'm actually drinking 70 times three which is 210 calories. That's a big difference. Let's go down here. So there's no fat. Okay, that's good. Blah, blah, blah. No cholesterol. Uh, let's take a look at sugar because that's one thing we have to look at when we're drinking a beverage, the amount of sugar. It says 17 grams per serving. But in reality, if I drink this entire container, which I will probably would, I'll be drinking 17 times three, which is 51 grams of sugar. Wow, that now it's a big number. And in case you're curious, if you're not sure what 51 grams look like, you can divide it by four to transform into teaspoon. So 51 divided by four, that's 12.75 teaspoon of sugar in just this bottle of iced tea. That's crazy, right? So here's why it's important to always read the nutrition fact label.
Now that we look at the amount of added sugar is in an iced tea, crazy, right? It's time for us to make our own drink. Today, we're gonna to be making a kind of like a soda using cranberry juice and orange juice. And we'll be making, we're making sure to use 100% fruit juice. So we're gonna be using 100% orange juice and 100% of cranberry juice. And also we're gonna, to, to make it fun, we're gonna add seltzer water. It's just gonna give the bubbly, kind of like a soda um, kind of vibe. So the reason why it's important to use 100% fruit juice is because all the sugar that is in the label, it comes straight from the fruit, not from added sugar, okay? So let's step into my kitchen and let's do it. To make this recipe, you will need three cups of unflavored seltzer water, third of a cup of 100% orange juice, and a third of a cup of 100% cranberry juice. All you do is in everything in a pitcher, so you can add your seltzer water in a pitcher. Add your orange juice and your cranberry juice. And I got some ice cubes just to make it nice and cold. Mix it all together. So here we have our cranberry and orange soda. What do you think? Tastes yummy, right? Now, because we use salsa water, there's no calories, no sugar, so that's great. And because we're using 100% fruit juice, all the sweetness comes straight from those fruits, from the cranberry and from the orange. So there's no added sugar, which is great, right? That's what we want. And you can make your own recipe. You can make your own soda. What is your favorite 100% fruit juice? You can use salsa water with 100% grape juice or with fruit punch. Whatever is your favorite, try your own. Hey, thank you for watching my lesson today, guys. I hope you had fun. And remember, keep eating your fruits and veggies every day. See you next time.